Monkey D. Dragon is Monkey D. Luffy's father. But did you know this is a fact that only one person out of his entire organization knew? Despite Dragon being the leader of the Revolutionary Army for over two decades, only Kuma was aware that Luffy is Dragon's son. Even Ivankov, who is part of Dragon's innermost circle, only found out about this family lineage at Impel Down after Luffy told him. And even Luffy only found out after his grandfather Gup told him, as Luffy didn't even consider that he might have a dad. It just goes to show what a good secret keeper Dragon is, to the point that he was even able to hide this fact from his own son. And that's just one of 42 facts you didn't know about Monkey D. Dragon. And before we begin, let's play a game. If you come across a fact in this video that you didn't know, then you have to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, then good for you, you're already winning. But if by the end of this video you already knew every single fact, then why don't you leave a new fact about Dragon below in the comments. And make sure to watch until the end because I've included a special spooky bonus you don't want to miss out on. While watching One Piece, have you ever spotted a similarity between Monkey D. Dragon and Kalgara? If you notice that they both have face tattoos, then you would be right. But that's not the only thing they have in common. These two characters also have the same voice actor, Hidekatsu Shibata, who also happens to be the same voice actor who voiced the third Hokage in Naruto. Did you know that Dragon founded the Revolutionary Army 22 years ago? He didn't do it alone either. Dragon teamed up with Bartholomew Kuma and Emporio Ivankov to form the anti-world government military organization almost two decades ago. Although, we're still waiting to find out how exactly this occurred. Did you know, despite having opposed the world government for over 20 years, Dragon first became a serious global threat only eight years ago? In chapter 142, we see that the world leaders discussed Dragon's threat at Marijuana, concerned about his growing influence. And we can definitely say that his notoriety has indeed grown immensely since then. Although we know that Dragon is Luffy's father and that Garp is Luffy's grandfather, it's not confirmed that Dragon is Garp's biological son. Although each of the three men have the same last name, it's never explicitly stated that Dragon is the son of Garp, making it unclear throughout the series as to the exact relationship between Garp and Dragon. For example, Garp refers to Luffy as his kid's kid or to Dragon as Luffy's father, but never directly calls Dragon his own son. Meaning that it's possible that Dragon may have just adopted the Monkey D name from Garp's daughter and Luffy's mother instead. But did you know that similar to Garp and his son Luffy, Dragon was also from the Goa Kingdom in Dawn Island in the East Blue. And this isn't the only town in East Blue that Dragon has a connection to, because we also know that Dragon once also visited the Shimotsuki village, the hometown of Rodonoa Zoro. In chapter 589 of the manga, we see that the Revolutionary Army docked at the Shimotsuki village for a short period where the revolutionaries received some food from the dojo. And although other villagers were awed by the strange and large ship, all young Zoro was concerned about was his exercise regime, intense as ever. Zoro was perhaps one fateful incident away from becoming a part of the Revolutionary Army. Did you know that Dragon used to live at Baltigo, also known as the Island of White Soil, located somewhere in the Grand Line? Baltigo was the former base of the Revolutionary Army before they were attacked by Blackbeard and his crew. Now, Dragon resides in the Kamabaka Kingdom on Momoiro Island, which is also located in the Grand Line. And this is the current base for the Revolutionary Army. Did you know that Dragon's epithet, the world's most wanted man, is actually a myth? The correct translation for Dragon's title is the world's worst criminal, which is understandable given his role in orchestrating attacks against the world government and celestial dragons, the highest authorities in the world. In fact, Dragon and the Revolutionary Army are very selective in their goals and objectives. Their target is specifically the world government and not necessarily the noble monarchs around the world. Although this doesn't mean that they won't help impoverished citizens to rebel against their oppressive rulers. Despite Dragon not having been involved in many battles, there is a very popular theory that Dragon has a wind-related devil fruit ability. That's because of Dragon's introduction where he was shown coinciding with intense weather events and most 
specifically the wind. Possibly supporting this idea is that Dragon Ship is named Wind Grandma, a large ship with a dragon head and dragon tail. And in the One Piece Nintendo game, One Piece Gigant Battle and its sequel, Dragon is a support character that can either help his leader or blow his opponents away with, you guessed it, a gust of wind. This speculation about Dragon's powers has also been fueled by a mistake in the Viz translation of chapter 100, where a marine's soldier's cry was incorrectly translated to wind blast, suggesting that Dragon does indeed have some wind-related abilities. But this isn't the only mistake, because the 4 kids Funimation dub significantly changed Dragon's introduction at Logetown. Here, Smoker immediately you, recognizes Dragon, Dragon calling him the, the most, most wanted man, man in, in the world. world, and when asked why he was helping Luffy, Dragon was shown replying, I haven't helped him, or at least not yet, just before a gust of wind saved Luffy. This is substantially different from the manga, where Dragon only teased that he may have an interest in Luffy, replying that he has no reason to get in another man's way. And in the 4 kids dub, when Luffy would later go on to explain his interaction to his crew, Nami and Sanji immediately recognized who Dragon was. This would be inconsistent with the manga because in chapter 432, Nami and Sanji were shocked to find out that Dragon was Luffy's father alongside everyone else. Did you know that Dragon's favorite food is bocaditos? These are classic Cuban slider-like finger sandwiches, said to be a staple for all party-type gatherings. So maybe Luffy got his love for feasts and parties from his dad. On top of Dragon's love for Cuban food, Dragon's desire design itself is inspired by Fidel Castro, the Cuban revolutionary who would later become the president of Cuba. In fact, Dragon's ship Wind Grandma is inspired by the real-life yacht named Grandma that was used by Castro to transport 82 fighters of the Cuban Revolution from Mexico to Cuba, which started the Cuban Revolution. Dragon's height is 256 centimeters or 8 foot 5. His height in the American imperial system System is the reverse of his son's, which is 5 foot 8, or a whole foot shorter than Garb, who stands at 9 foot 5. It seems that Luffy didn't inherit these impressive height genes that run through his family. And like the rest of the Monkey D family, Dragon's blood type is F. So maybe they're all related after all. Did you know that Dragon is currently 55 years old? When the series first started, Dragon's age was 53. This means that Dragon would have been 36 when Luffy was born. Interestingly, Dragon is the same age as Akainu, who is also currently 55 years old. And their positions as the head of opposing factions as well as their same age has resulted in some speculations about a prior, deeper relationship between the two characters. Dragon's birthday is October 5th, which is a day that he shares with Van Ogur, Kokoro, Marco, and Otoko. Did you know that Dragon met Sabo 12 years ago, while visiting his home country of Goa Kingdom, Dragon witnessed the burning of the Great Terminal and also met Sabo who begged Dragon for help. After being moved by the young boy's own shame over the cruel ways of the wealthy, Dragon helped those at Trash Mountain to escape and later even saved Sabo when his ship was destroyed by the world nobles. Did you know that the Revolutionary Army isn't the only group that Dragon has been a part of? Before founding and becoming the Supreme Commander commander of the revolutionaries, Dragon was the captain of the Freedom Fighters, a mysterious and poor military force that opposed the world government. It's unclear as to who founded the Freedom Fighters, when the group formed and what's happened to it now, but we know that it was still active at least 22 years ago. It's hinted that the reason why Dragon left the Freedom Fighters and started the Revolutionary Army is because of the Ohara incident. The Navy's brutal destruction of Ohara is what shocked Dragon and gave him the resolve to start a military force that was actually able to fight back against the world government. Dragon may face a powerful opponent in the world government, but he also has friends and acquaintances all over the world. One of these is the late Professor Clover. Dragon even visited Ohara months after the Ohara incident, angry about what happened to Clover and the other scholars. His relationship with Clover may even have been partly why why the Ohara incident left such a big impact on Dragon to start the Revolutionary Army. Another 
old friend of Dragon's is Dr. Vegapunk. Dragon and Vegapunk go way back, and the Freedom Fighters even asked Vegapunk to join the organization, although Vegapunk declined. Did you know that despite leading the Revolutionary Army, Dragon is actually a pacifist? Despite his hatred for war, Dragon feels that he must overthrow the world government and change the world, viewing military conflict as a means to an end to achieving peace. Did you know that Dragon has only appeared in one cover story volume? In chapter 818, as part of the cover story from the Decks of the World, the 500 Million Man arc, Dragon featured alongside Sabo and Koala as they read the new bounties of the Straw Hats at Baltigo. Interestingly, Dragon has also only featured on one volume cover in volume 60. Did you know that Dragon's first appearance was an extra special introduction? That's because Dragon first appeared in chapter 100, a celebratory milestone chapter. It seems that the One Piece creator, Echiro Oda, saved his introduction for a special chapter, which makes sense given Dragon's huge role in the story. Despite being Luffy's father, Dragon has never been a part of his son's life. However, Dragon does appear to care for Luffy, saving him from Smoker, encouraging Luffy's journey as a pirate from afar, and looking forward to the day that they will one day reunite. Ivankov has even mentioned that Dragon is constantly looking in the direction of the East Blue, as if he's thinking about his family there. While Dragon has been absent from his own son's life, he was very hands-on in raising Luffy's sworn brother Sabo. Dragon personally trained Sabo and even appointed him to the high rank of Chief of Staff within the Revolutionary Army. Did you know that Dragon is more interested in another straw hat than his own son? Dragon has been interested in Nico Robin for over 10 years ever since the Ohara incident where Robin emerged as the sole survivor. The two finally got a chance to meet when during the time skip, Kuma sent Robin to Tequila Wolf where she and a group of slaves were freed by the Revolutionary Army and Robin later went to Baltigo where she finally met Dragon. Dragon has also shown to care for Robin, ordering his men to protect her from the world government and asking about her well-being to Koala who later saw Robin at Dressrosa. Did you know that despite his epithet, the world's worst criminal, and his role in the Revolutionary Army, Dragon's bounty still hasn't been revealed? Although given his title, we can assume that it's a really big one. Did you know that Dragon was present at Logetown during Goldie Rogers' execution? We see in Chapter Zero that a younger Dragon was there alongside other notable faces. But something very notable is that Dragon didn't sport his very distinguishable tattoo back then, 24 years ago. In fact, Dragon didn't get his tattoo until at least after his Freedom Fighter days, as we see that he still didn't have his tattoo 22 years ago, adding more mystery to the meaning and significance behind his face tattoo. Despite being one of the most anticipated characters to make a move, Dragon has never ranked inside the top 60 in any character popularity polls. The highest he's ever ranked is 62, but I'm sure that once we witness more of Dragon's abilities, he would undoubtedly skyrocket into popularity. And now here's a special bonus. Did you know that Dragon has been the source of a spooky Mandela effect? That's because I could swear that I've watched a scene where Dragon was seen picking his nose, a character trait common in the other members of the Monkey D family. However, I've never been able to find this scene again in the anime or the manga. But discussing this with a couple of my friends, they've also said that they remember seeing Monkey D Dragon picking his nose, only to be never able to find it again. So if you remember seeing this too, and or remember where it's from, please do let me know by leaving a comment below. But there you have it, 42 facts about Monkey D Dragon. So how did you go? Did you know all of these facts about this mysterious character? Are there any other facts you think I missed? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Make sure to subscribe, especially if you lost in the game, and click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future One Piece facts. Thank you to all our Patreon and channel members for your support, and to all of you for watching these 42 facts about Dragon. This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.